A Kewanee County home break-in could have been worse if it hadn't been for this family pet. Now, the break-in happened early this morning in Algoma. A homeowner found two men who are still on the run tonight at his back door. Fox 11's Andrew Lacombe has the story. An Algoma man says his dog, named Scout, scared off two men who were trying to get inside his house. Police were called to the 1200 block of Jefferson Street at 345 Thursday morning. I talked to a man who says he lives here with his wife and six kids. He says his large German shepherd woke him up. He says he found two people at his back door. The victim says one man entered his house, but with the help of his dog, he pushed him out the door, breaking his railing. The man says he was stabbed by a knife. When I talked to him, he had a bandage around his forearm. He also had scratches on his forehead and a black eye. The victim doesn't think his door was locked. It's news. It's a shock, you know, because nothing ever happens here. Frank Mowry lives around the block. Nobody uh, closes their drapes or anything, uh, um, and because it's just a very easygoing community, and then something like this happens. Police say the two suspects ran away from the house. The victim and police don't know why they broke in. We're not really sure. Well, we're trying to follow up on everything we can. Um, it's, it's, it's very suspicious in uh, activities. And it's a situation that may have been worse if a large dog wasn't on alert. In Algoma, Andrew Lacombe, Fox 11 News. The two suspects are described as white males between the ages of 16 and 23. One could have a dog bite on his left forearm and the other could have facial injuries. Crime Stoppers is offering a $250 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction.